My friends, welcome back. It is March 1st, 2021, 12.58 p.m., the first day of meteorological spring, which I know many, many of us have been waiting for, including myself. We have some interesting stuff to talk about, and with the word meteorological, we have the word meteor, and that will be our topic today. Space weather is another thing we cover here, and we've had some upticks, some major upticks in the meteor sightings along the border of Canada and the U.S. I will show you those reports, including this new report that just came out from last night, technically this morning, but it happened last night. The hunt is on for meteorite fragments that have likely fallen to Earth. This is in Cheltenham, England. Not to be confused with Chatham, Ontario. So some people were getting these two areas confused. The area in the UK and then this area in Ontario. These were separate sightings. And that's why I want to show you the importance of these situations. Really quick, though, I just want to tell you the difference between a meteorite and a meteor. Basically, the long and short of it is a meteorite is one that hits the ground, and a meteor does not. Basically, any shooting star you see, any of those meteor showers that we plan for in the summer, and the few others that come around every year, those are meteors. They don't touch the ground, but when we do have one that strikes the ground, it then becomes a meteorite. And the reasoning for the name differences is exactly that. It is very rare for a meteorite to to actually happen to hit the ground these are rare they're worth money and 99.9999 percent of the time these are being burnt up in the atmosphere which is why we get to see our shooting star that is the actual meteor burning up in the atmosphere which again usually consumes that entire meteor so it is rare for these to make it to the ground and they will send out search parties to find them as they're doing right now in the uk one of the best resources for these reports is americanmeteorsociety.org as you can see right here and you go to the events page and it will tell you all the major events that have happened across the world as far as meteor sightings or really anything that you see in the sky. There are people on this site that have a reputation basically so you can trust the information. A lot of these people spend a lot of time putting out their information on these sightings and spend a lot of time trying to see them so you can you can specifically focus on America itself or the entire world which includes every meteor event or fireball event. For example the night of February 26 was obviously the night of the Ontario meteor sighting. Check this out. You see it streaking right across the city there. This was posted on February 26th. There are plenty of other videos on this specific sighting, including the actual American Meteor Society post. Here is a great YouTuber, Mary Sutton Greeley. Her channel's on YouTube. She does cover these meteorites very often, but take a look at the amount of people that saw this. And not just Mary Greeley, but we could see many other people posted on this as well, and many, many people saw it. Right here is another great video of this sighting, as you'll see this car turning onto this road, and then you'll see it right back there. Many, many dash cams caught this sighting. And again, it's not so much the fact that we're seeing these on camera. We do often get to see them on camera because of our dash cam numbers and the amount of people that use cameras now. But the frequency of the events and how many people are seeing them each time is rising. Even just last night, we could see a wide range of sightings in Oklahoma. This was all one event. So all these people around Oklahoma, Texas, and any state you see in here, Arkansas, New Mexico, all saw this one event. And when you click on the event, it takes you to the map and you can see exactly what these people saw. You can see the direction in which this meteor was traveling, clearly south to north. And as we zoom out, you can individually pick each sighting and get their information about what they saw, what they heard, how long it lasted, so on and so forth. And over time, that builds your reputation on this site and people will then trust your opinion more. So, so really quick, let's just bulk this up. So we had two days ago, Toronto, Canada, major sighting many people saw. Then another big sighting in Ontario. This is in in Chatham. And now the search is on for a meteorite expected to have hit the ground in the UK. That event still has reports coming in. Here are two of those. But the big event in England taking place last night is right here. When we click that event, we can see all the different sightings that took place here. And we know that this meteor went almost north to south. If we zoom in, we can see the trajectory of it right here. And this is the area in which they're going to be searching for those valuable rare meteorites. Some of these sightings are just unbelievable. A lot of them are being grouped together now that we have so many in such a short group of time. The two Canadian meteor sightings, 
the UK media is citing the big one in Oklahoma and the Central American one we just saw. So to say this will be the last is probably not going to be a smart move. So we will keep our eyes on the skies. The most recent one is this one that took place in Oklahoma and North Texas, one sighting in New Mexico. This is all one event, like I said. And it'll be amazing to see what we have to look forward to in the very near future, especially that these numbers are picking up all over the world, not just in the U.S. For those of you that want to read into this a little more, especially the U.K. sighting last night, I will post the article in the description box, and you can find all the information on the more recent sightings in Canada and the U.S. again at the American Meteor Society website. I will also leave that in the description box. Any questions or comments, please leave below. If you have any sightings or any other information on this, please let me know, and I will get that info out to you guys as soon as possible. Also, if you have a chance, please check out the poll I am conducting on YouTube and on Twitter, both of which ask your opinion on when the first named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season, 2021 Atlantic hurricane season, will be April, May, June, or other. Other could be March, other could be July, August, September, October, or any month you don't see here. I hope everyone is safe and warm. We will be talking about this nonsense going on in the southeast of the United States and also another West Coast storm we need to start focusing on. My friends, thank you all so much. I will be back later on this afternoon, if not tomorrow morning. Hope you all had a good weekend. Shout out to Canada. I will talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.